See that aspiring model there? That was me, Deb, until the day I died. I thought I'd go straight to heaven, but there was a bit of a mix-up and I woke up in someone else's body. So now, I'm Jane, a super busy lawyer with my very own assistant. I got a new life, a new wardrobe, and the only people who really know what's going on with me are my girlfriend, Stacy, and my guardian angel, Fred. I used to think everything happened for a reason, and well, I sure hope I was right. Boy, I hear you in my dreams. I feel you whisper across the sea. I keep you with me. In my heart, you make it easier when life gets hard. Jane, wake up. Wake up. Jane, I have had enough of this song. You were playing it when I went to sleep, and it's still going. It's on repeat. <laughs> it's my song with Grayson. I know, sweetie, and it's lovely. But enough, okay? Today is going to be our first time together. Your first time together was Christmas 07. He put rose petals on the sheets and you got a rash. Our first time together on a case. Wouldn't that be frustrating? I mean, you can't touch him or kiss him. I don't know how you're gonna do it. <laughs> Ooh, what are you gonna wear? I've got just the thing. <gasps> it's perfect. Oh, you look <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You'll need the perfect lipstick. Ah, Radical Rojo. You have never let me down. When life gets hard. Lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Lucky to have been Slow down there, Speed Racer. I've got an intake meeting. I'm working with Grayson. Oh, actually, um, you're on a pro bono. Did you hear? You're out. I'm in. No way. Way. You're the one who volunteered for public service. <laughs> nice suit. It goes well with the lipstick. Oh, thank you. <laughs> On your teeth. Right here? No, your incisor. What? This one. Oh, Jane. Do you even own a mirror? Are you OK? I want to stab her with her Jimmy Choo. Get in line. Come on, I got something for you in the kitchen. What? You know, red is really your color. I'm glad you dressed for the occasion. What occasion? Close your eyes. Do it! OK, open them. Happy birthday! It's not my birthday. Nice try. And this year, we are celebrating. It's really my birthday? I'm so over this amnesia, yes. <laughs> Make a wish. <laughs> Yay! Happy 32! <laughs> 32? 32? No, no, I'm 24. Oh, man, I don't care what it says on your moisturizer. You cannot reverse the clock. Own it, Jane. 32 and fabulous. You got Stacy. Stacy, it's my birthday. Happy birthday. I'm 32. Ooh, but you were 24, and that means you lost eight years. I was getting there. Stacy, I lost eight years of my life. Ugh, that totally sucks. But how's working with Grayson? Did he compliment your lipstick? Men never compliment lipstick. Oh, and Kim got my case. Happy birthday to me. Who's that? Your birthday gift. The prisoner you met online. I'm kidding. It's Michael Fernandez, your pro bono. I wouldn't mind a conjugal visit with him. He is crazy, sexy, scary. You're crazy. He's just scary. You're his pro forma counsel. You need to review the agreement from the compensation board before he signs it. 
What did he do? He didn't. He was wrongly convicted of armed robbery and murder. The real killer copped to the crime in a videotaped confession. Nice biceps. The DA's office reviewed the case, and they acknowledged that he wasn't guilty, but he was in jail for 10 years, so the giant red lips might not be a good idea. Lot. Mm. And take your cupcakes. Mm. Hi. Gene Bingham. Nice to meet you. I'm a self-help book junkie, too. The Art of Living Consciously. Very enlightening. Of course, try explaining it to a guy who just killed his parents with a barbecue fork. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way. Thanks. Cupcake? I don't do sugar. Diabetic. I just want to sign the papers and get this all behind me. Okay. Um, I'll review my copy, and you need to sign and date each page. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a baseball player. Mm. Ten years behind bars for something I didn't do. It's a whole career. Wrong place, wrong time. My girlfriend had just left me. I was sleeping in my car two blocks away from the convenience store. When the cops come, they bang on the window and arrest me. They got you on circumstantial evidence. My blood type happened to match the killer, who happened to cut himself at the scene. But hold on. No two people have the same DNA. They never tested my DNA. Until they got that videotape of the real killer. Not to mention it was an election year. So the DA needed a quick conviction to put in his plus column. Bingo. It says here that the state is offering a settlement of $15,000. Not bad, huh? Michael, you can't put a dollar amount on what you lost. And even if you could, it would be a lot higher. The rep told me it was a statutory deal, not of negotiation. What about all the things that you never got to do? Well, I, don't, I don't really think no, they care. What about that big 25th birthday blowout in Las Vegas that you have been planning since your sweet 16? I mean, I'm just saying as a for instance. Listen, I appreciate your support, but this is a done deal. Done? But we haven't even started. See, we can go to that compensation board, and we can fight this statutory mandate. I don't think I want to. No, you were wrongfully convicted, wrongfully incarcerated, and you lost 10 years of your life. We're not going to accept this insulting offer, are we? Well. Well, damn right we're not. Good thinking, Michael. Bingham, happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, Jay. Thank you. Happy birthday, Jay! Thank you. What are you doing in here? This is my office. Well, Denver's in Hawaii for two weeks, if you don't tell anyone. Hey, we have to talk. Hold on a second, I'm watching the Brady Bunch. This is so sad. Alice thinks she's not needed anymore. I gotta see what happens. Yeah, she stays, and the show airs for like ever. Way to spoil it for me. Hey, guess what? What? It's her birthday. You mean your birthday? Happy birthday, Jane. Oh, thanks. She's 32, and I was 24. Have you ever had these before? They're called malted milk balls. I think I'm in love. But I'm also in love with Stacy. Can I love two things? Love is a mini splendor thing. Love lifts you up where you belong. All you need is love. Oh my God, Jane memorized lines from Moulin Rouge. I love that movie. You guys actually have something in common. No, 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 no. I lost eight years. Now, what did you do with them? I want them back. Oh my God, these are delicious. I think it's the multi crunch. Mm, I think it's the thin coating of chocolate before you get to the multi crunch. Why couldn't you have put me in a younger body? It's so unfair. Excuse me, I wasn't the one who hit the return button. And don't change the subject. We're talking about malted milk balls. Hey, happy birthday. You know what? <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry we won't be working together, but hopefully another time. That would be great. Another time? I'm 32. I don't have much time left. You only go around once, have a fling? That's Tiffany Lexington's catchphrase. The alternate was, uh, marriage is a merry-go-round, get off. Made the right choice. That's what my wife said. 
So where is Tiffany Lexington? She doesn't exist. I mean, she's not a person. She's the name of my website. Would you go to a dating site called BarrySchuster.net? Good point. So the plaintiff, Mary Beth Poole, is suing for tortious interference and loss of consortium. Translation, you're the guy she blames for screwing up her marriage and ending her sex life. That's ridiculous. I agree. But her husband did meet someone on your website, and the site caters to married people who want to cheat. Anyone who comes to my site is already on that train. If anything, my service can revitalize a marriage. By cheating? Well, married people often fantasize about what's out there, but once they start dating again, they see the grass ain't always greener. But in Mary Beth's case, the affair didn't revitalize the marriage. Her husband left her. Again, not my fault. The jury might disagree. They might find your site reprehensible. Of course, it's our job to prove that it's not. Thanks for giving me these threads. I'll pay you back with the, uh, the settlement. No, it was a gift. Besides, it was fun shopping. I'm kind of overwhelmed. The only choice I had in the last 10 years was an orange jumpsuit. You should know your complexion is autumn, so stay away from light to medium browns and camel. Stick with a base of black and dark gray and complement it with a powder blue Hi. Looks like you missed your comb. Yeah, I could have been a fashion model in another life. <laughs> you feeling okay? A little shaky. Fifteen grand really is okay. It's enough to get me a truck, a girlfriend, a dog. What else do I need? <laughs> That's a smart idea, son. I'm not your son. Hey, I'm sorry about how it all went down. I'm a DA and I was just doing my job. Besides, the jury of your you fears... You destroyed my life. Yeah, I'm also the one who watched the video confession and then got the crime lab to compare your DNA to the blood at the crime scene. You should be thanking me for getting you out. You sure you want to do this, Miss Bingham? We wouldn't be here if I wasn't. See you inside. Maybe I should just take what they offered. Michael, your trial lasted two days. There was a rush to judgment. Now you look like a million bucks. And that's what they should pay you. Stacy? Hey. Grayson. What are you doing here? Where am I setting up? Mm, in Jane Bingham's office. In there. Okay. You know Jane? Oh, yeah. We actually met at uh, Deb's funeral. Totally bonded. <laughs> She's my new roommate. No kidding. We have so much in common. Really? Like what? Well, we both... We both like romantic movies, and we both think polyester is the devil's fabric. And, um, oh, we're both allergic to eggs. Mm. Just the yellow. I better go help Derek set up. <laughs> so I ask you, put yourself in Mr. Fernando's shoes. You are found innocent after 10 years, and the state offers $15,000 as compensation. That works out to $4 a day for each day he was incarcerated. How much would I have to pay you to spend a night in jail? So, Ms. Bingham, just to clarify, are you rejecting the board's offer? Absolutely. Even parolees and people in witness protection get transition services, homes, job training. Mr. Fernandez was wrongfully convicted. He was wrongfully incarcerated. He didn't rob anyone. In fact, he was robbed. So I ask you to reconsider and offer an amount commensurate to this man's pain and suffering. The board will take a short recess. Sounded like you were the one who went through all this. I feel for you, Michael. I don't know how to thank you, Jane. Just doing my job. Did you tell Derek the masseur he could rearrange Jane's office? It's all about feng shui. The massage table needs to be in the right place. Get out of 
in my chair. And I'm telling you, Jane doesn't get massages. Dude, you're way off. She's all about the Swedish with a tad of reflexology on her quads. I'll tell you what she's all about, dude. The deep fried onion blossom at Outback. We love them. We go every year for her birthday lunch. Well, since we've been roommates, Jane's given up trans fats. Tell that to the bag of donut holes in her file cabinet. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Fred. Hi, Stacy. Mail, Freddy. Up here. This is for Jane. Oh, an edible fruit bouquet made out of fruit. Her mother sends one every year. Bet you didn't know that. Mm. Uh, we should do something special. Oh, how about a surprise party? Bad idea. She hates surprises. What are you talking about? She threw herself a surprise party once, and I think she was really surprised. Stacy wins. We're throwing a party. <laughs> Big surprise. After considering your petition, seeing as you offered no factual impropriety on the part of the district attorney's office in regards to Mr. Fernandez's convictions, we cannot, strictly on the basis of an emotional plea, render in favor of the petitioner. Therefore, we deny your request. Total BS. Also, the DA has informed the board that they revoke their factual finding of innocence, which means the statute of compensation no longer applies. The state will be awarding Mr. Fernandez nothing. Nothing? Wait, how is that possible? I'm sorry, Ms. Bingham. What's going on? They're punishing me for trying to get you what's fair. Why? Uh, Your lawyer should know better than to challenge this. If her appeal was granted, she would have opened the door to endless lawsuits, tied up my office in pointless litigation. Michael's case is not pointless. You should have just taken the 15 grand and said thank you very much. I lost. I know. Pep talk and loser cocktail coming right up. I'm almost afraid to ask. What's a loser cocktail? Two aspirins inserted into a maraschino cherry, antacid, and seltzer. It's disgusting. I know, but you taught me the recipe, and it always does the trick. Start the pep talk, please. Jane, don't be so hard on yourself. Does that usually work? Not really. Chug. Mm. Oh, that's refreshing. You're welcome. I lost Michael fifteen thousand dollars. Me, I'm I'm responsible. Spritz. Uh, oh, sorry. You usually close your eyes. <laughs> Look, the day's not over. We still have your birthday lunch. Oh no, I can't go. Come on, everything feels better at Outback. No, I have to find a way to reopen this case, Terry. I need to see the real killer's confession video after Outback. Terry, subpoena everything from Michael's old murder trial, from the DA's office, from his defense attorney, everything. Why is there a massage table in my office? Derek! Have we met? No. So, uh, Stacy told you I was coming? Of course she did. Well, great. Let's get started. I'll step outside and you'll get in your room. You know, if you don't mind, I might just take my jacket off. I mean, we're not in a spa, we're in an office, and robes aren't appropriate in the workplace. Unless you're a judge. Because <laughs> they wear robes to work. However you're most comfortable. Okay. <laughs> Try to relax. <laughs> You're very tense, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop it. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I'm ticklish. What do you think you're doing? I was going to have a birthday massage, and apparently I'm unmassageable. Would you in the rainforest excuse us? How could you screw up the settlement? You're supposed to cross the T's, dot the I's, and send Mr. Fernandez on his merry way. The compensation was insulting. The amount is mandated by statute. The alternative is zilch. Cupcake. All right, I screwed up. 
But I am going to figure out a way to help him. You keep helping him, he's gonna end up back in jail. Well, I can't leave it like this. It's wrong. And I am going after the... What's his face? The DA. Callahan did his job, Jane. When new evidence was introduced, he freed an innocent man. You're the only one who messed up. Get back to billable hours and leave it alone. Okay. Not. My husband called and said he was going to be late from work again. I was disappointed because I had just made dinner. I was eating when he called back. But I don't think he realized it. He must have hit redial on his cell by accident. I could hear him talking to a woman, complimenting her hair, her face, her neck, and he worked his way down. I wanted to hang up, but I couldn't. I just sat there listening to the end of my marriage. And you discovered the affair was arranged through the Tiffany Lexington website? Yeah. He had been spending a lot of time on the computer. I put two and two together and went through his laptop and found the membership. Where is your husband now? He's on his honeymoon with the other woman. I'm so sorry. Your witness. What is your profession, Mrs. Poole? I train horses. Long hours? Well, I'm usually at the barn from sunrise till 7 or 8 at night. That doesn't leave much time for your husband or your marriage. When was the last time the two of you had sex, Mrs. Poole? Objection, relevance. I'm interested, counselor. My husband hasn't been interested. How long? It was last summer, the night of your ex-husband's 38th birthday, to be exact. Yes. Yet the records show he didn't become a client of Tiffany Lexington until October. But you're saying your marriage was solid at that point, even though you hadn't had sex in four months. We had issues like every couple, but they were not insurmountable. Apparently you were. Objection! Withdrawn. Nothing further. My name's Hector Diego. I'm in jail for robbery, but I've done a lot worse. I've been living with guilt and an innocent man. Put in Jane, you already missed your birthday lunch. At least make happy hour at Sidebar. Free mini meatballs. You know, the DA's office never interviewed Hector Diego. Well, he wasn't a suspect 10 years ago. Exactly. They pinned it on Michael and didn't look any further. What the hell? This could prove prosecutorial negligence. I need to talk to Hector Diego. He should still be behind bars. I need you to find him. Fine, then celebrate your birthday chatting up a sociopathic serial killer. Way out, myself a root beer and a box of Cracker Jacks. I'm telling you now, because I got to do one good thing before I go cover my bases. I got lung cancer, stage four. Your legs were crossed, and your body was facing away from our client. That's like a neon sign telegraphing the jury how you feel. Come on, I couldn't have been that obvious. Well, you were. Okay, I have a problem with Schuster and what he does for a living. Grayson, we represent the clients we get, not the clients we want. Yes, I know. But maybe I shouldn't be representing this one. Come on, it's not like the guy's a killer. Don't you have any issues with this guy? Why should I? You're acting like he's responsible for breaking up families. The idea that two people should stay together for their whole life, that was reasonable when life expectancy was 30. But not today. The website is on trial, Kim, not marriage itself. Mm -hmm. Maybe it should be. Commitment's tough. I get it. But with the right person, it's worth it. Oh. You know, my mother made that commitment to my father. And then to Bill, Jake, Marcus, Ronald, you can stop me at any point. I'm sorry. Don't be. She made the mistake so that I won't. I found Hector Diego. Great. Where is he? Forest Lawn. He's dead? For almost five years. That means... That the DA sat on the real killer's confession while Michael Fernandez sat in jail. Pizza on your birthday? 
Living the dream. Do you want a slice? No, thanks. Terry told me about the videotape. You've got yourself a case. Yeah. Um, I haven't discussed it with Parker yet. He won't want me confronting the DA. Then do what you have to do and apologize later. Good plan. <laughs> <laughs> How's your case going? My client profits off adultery. It's disgusting. Yikes. How does Kim feel about him? She doesn't have a problem with it. And again, she doesn't believe in marriage and monogamy, so. But you do. Of course. My parents have been married for 36 years. As corny as it sounds, they... Complete each other. <laughs> Something like that. How about you? I want... The same thing. But, you know, maybe... Maybe monogamy isn't for everyone. You know, it's a choice. It's not a choice if you really love someone. I don't follow. If I had married Deb, I never would have cheated. But it wouldn't have been a choice because there was never a question. Happy birthday, Jane. Thanks. tape wasn't buried. It came in five years ago and took five years to process. It was low priority. Then something's wrong with the system. We get lots of post-trial confessions. Most of them are fakes. Friends trying to get a buddy out of jail. Whack jobs wanting attention. Confessions made under duress. Can't possibly mount an investigation for every one. I understand, but Hector Diego actually committed this crime. And that's why Michael is out. We believed he was guilty and we'd be prosecuted. And the quick conviction had nothing to do with the fact that it was an election year? If you believe my office is engaged in actual misconduct, then file a suit. But if not, you need to move on. Can't imagine your boss is happy you're harassing the DA's office. I have Mr. Parker's full support. I specifically told you to leave the DA's office alone. I, I know, Apparently, but I you really... you don't realize how miserable an irate DA can make our lives, especially one with political ambitions like Callahan. But what about Michael, okay? He got screwed. Usually, the system works. In this case, it didn't. Jane, I have plans for this firm, and a ticked-off DA is not part of them. Well, I can't walk away from this. And I can't guarantee your future here. No one can guarantee anyone's future. I could get into my car, drive into a truckload of grapefruits, and be dead. Mr. Schuster, does your dating service promote infidelity? Absolutely not. We provide a forum for people to meet. They've already decided to cheat. So you don't feel responsible for breaking up Mary Beth's marriage? <sighs> if a married man cheats with a woman he meets at a singles bar, can he sue the bar owner? Of course not. It's the same thing. Thank you. No more questions. Your witness, Miss Dewey. Isn't it true that 2020 is doing a piece on the Tiffany Lexington website? Yes. It's my understanding this segment exposes that dozens of prostitutes use your service to solicit married men. So I guess that makes you a cyber pimp? Objection. This is not a criminal trial, Your Honor. Sustained. That question will be stricken from the record. The jury will disregard. Uh, redirect, Your Honor. Go ahead. Mr. Schuster, have you ever been accused or convicted of any crimes? No, never. In fact, you do a lot of volunteer work, don't you? Yes. For the past six years, my wife and I have co-chaired the benefit for the Central LA Youth at Risk program, among many other charity functions. Thank you. No more questions. We'll hear closing arguments first thing tomorrow. Nice job. The jury stopped listening at Cyber Pimp. Two women had their arms crossed and several others had their chins tilted up. It's a classic sign of defiance. They're saying, I don't believe you. To them, I'm not the wife. I'm the other woman. They hate me. Tomorrow, you'll be closing. I'm gonna go with Parker. Awesome. If awesome has been redefined to mean that I'm probably going to lose my job tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe we can hang out on the unemployment line together. Twizzler? No, I prefer my candy coated in chocolate. Oh, if you're looking for mall balls, we're out. I had some back here. How's it going with Kim? She wants me to close tomorrow, and I can't stand our client. I don't know if I have it in me. Of course you do. 
I mean, I've never been good at poker. I mean, when I try to bluff, my palms get sweaty. And, and you turn red. I know. And you know. It's a classic tell. Look, you're an honest man, and I admire that. Thanks. But it's not going to help me in court. Wait, do you find your client legally or morally reprehensible? It doesn't matter. No, listen. If you're completely honest with the jury, maybe it does matter. Jane, that's brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh. to work. No, stop listening to that song. It isn't healthy for you, and it's killing me. It's all I have left of him, Stacy. This afternoon, I looked him in the eye and called him an honest man. Me, a girl who can't even tell him who I really am. Well, maybe one day you will. I'm sorry your birthday was a bust, but I made you a carrot cake, your favorite. I'll cut you a slice, and even though it's after seven, I'll have a slice too. Thanks, Stace. I'm just, I'm, I'm not in the mood. I can't let Michael down. What am I gonna do? Well, if you're not gonna eat it, maybe you wanna send him my carrot cake. Yeah, and I'll include a note that says, sorry I lost you 15 grand, so here's a cake that you can't eat because you're a diabetic. Oh my God, Michael's a diabetic. Fine, forget about the cake. No, 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 wait, listen to this. So I shot him. I took the money, and on the way out, I grabbed myself a root beer and a box of Cracker Jacks. I'm telling you now, because I got to do one good thing before I go cover my bases. I got lung cancer stage four. Stacy, A root beer and a box of Cracker Jacks. Hector Diego, the man who actually committed this crime, walked out of the convenience store with a root beer and a box of Cracker Jacks. We all just watched the video. What's your point, Miss Bingham? Were you aware that Mr. Fernandez, the man you convicted, is a diabetic and would have been extremely unlikely to drink a soda and even less likely to drink a soda and eat a box of Cracker Jacks? We didn't have this confession 10 years ago when Mr. Fernandez was arrested. No. But you did have an eyewitness account from Mrs. Ellen W. Worth. Would you please read the highlighted portion of this police report from the day of the shooting? I didn't see his face, but I clearly remember the gunman left the store with a soda and a box of Cracker Jacks. I'd like to submit this report as Exhibit A, Your Honor. Your office received that videotape five years ago. It took me one night to go through the evidence of Mr. Fernandez's case and connect the dots. Everything necessary to free him was in a dusty file in your office. There was no misconduct, Miss Bingham. We did nothing wrong. It's not that you did anything wrong, Mr. Callahan. It's that you did nothing. And given the responsibilities of your office, doing nothing by definition is negligence. But you know that. Ladies and gentlemen, I find Mr. Schuster repugnant. I can't pretend to like him or to defend his character. But the truth is, relationships end. Marriages fail. That's reality. But blaming Barry Schuster for Mrs. Poole's unhappiness Gives him too much power. How many of you have ever had your car towed? Barry is the guy behind the desk at the impound lot. Do we hate him? Yes. Is it his fault your car got towed? No, it's not.
Look at the jury. Not one of them has turned away from you. You just won this case. So I guess you pumped some iron in prison, huh? What? Nothing. Don't forget to say bye when you leave. Uh, Terry. Oh, Mr. Fernandez here to see you. Hey. I got your message. What's going on? The DA called. And? They're offering you... a $100,000 settlement. Holy crap. Oh, it's amazing, Jane. I don't even know what to say. Well, this is just the beginning. I'm planning a civil suit against the DA personally. And I want to go after the investigating officers from 10 years ago. By the time we're done. We are done. What do you mean? This isn't over. It is for me. Michael, after everything they put you through. I don't want to look back anymore, Jane. That's all I did when I was in prison. What if my girlfriend hadn't left me? What if I hadn't been sleeping in my car? I don't want to look back. I want to start living my life. Know what I mean? Yeah, I do. More than you know. I want to thank you for all your hard work. They're lovely. It's the least I can do. You did get my invoice, didn't you? <laughs> you won the case and saved my business. I'd, uh, I'd like to retain your services for next time. I imagine there will be a next time. I think it's a safe bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want to have dinner to uh, celebrate? Don't you want to celebrate with your wife? Yeah, she's out of town. I'm a free man for the night. Very, um, I like winning cases, and I'm thrilled we won. But I think it's best if we don't work together anymore. And if you're looking for a date, I can suggest a website. <laughs> I didn't think you had a problem with my business. I don't. But damn it, I wish I did. I want to believe in the sanctity of marriage till death do us part. What's so wrong with that? It's not reality. Maybe you're right. And maybe there isn't one perfect guy for me, but... I want to be open to the possibility. OK. Good luck with that, Kim. If you're here to fire me, I'd like it in writing. Makes it easier to get unemployment. Why would I fire you? Because you said if I took on the DA's office, you'd fire me? No, what I meant was if you took on the DA's office and lost, I'd fire you. But you won. We can't let you go now. You'd have three offers by noon tomorrow. As far as I'm concerned, you're the lawyer of the day around here. Just the day? Actually, about one more hour. Yeah, we're gonna get a hailstorm of crap from the DA's office. I'm gonna need you to deal with that. I'll see you tonight, Bingham. Tonight? Oh, damn. <laughs> no good of surprises. People need to learn that. What you gonna do? Say 
say goodbye. I just want to let you know I'm looking at this party as Deb's 24th through 32nd birthday, so you have a lot of celebrating to do. <laughs> Thanks. I can't believe how quickly you threw all this together. Well, I had a lot of help from Terry and that cutie. They ain't phony and like them tender phonies. I just want to put him in my purse like a Paris Hilton chihuahua. <laughs> well, he's had all his shots. Go talk to him. Stacy, you see my moves? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. Nice dress. <laughs> so what do you think I should see next? Oh, Fred, there's about to be a disaster. She's tone deaf. <laughs> Sweetie, not a good time. Mm. We have guests. It's my party, and sometimes a girl's gotta sing. Here we go. Boy, I hear you in my dreams. I feel you whisper across the sea. I keep you with me in my heart. You make it easy. Who would have thought Jane Bingham had a voice like that? Lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Lucky to have been where I have been. Lucky to be coming home again. Though the breezes through the trees. That's our song. Gracie, I admire your devotion to Dan. I really do. You gotta let go. You can't hold on to someone who's not here. Lucky to be coming home someday.